Fabio De Massi. Today we had a discussion on people's quantitative easing. What is quantitative easing, people's quantitative easing, and how is it different from quantitative easing from the ECB as it currently stands? Well, quantitative easing as it currently stands means the central bank buys bonds from banks or wealthy individuals, meaning that it injects a lot of fresh money or liquidity into banks. However, as at the same time we have austerity, meaning cuts in public investment, in wages, in pensions, that money never enters the real economy because people have empty pockets, they don't buy things, enterprises won't invest. So that fresh money by ECB stays with the banks and what do they do with it? They speculate. So we create financial bubbles but we don't really kickstart the economy. People's QE is about directly financing public investment or even to some very desperate households writing checks so they could spend money directly into the economy. Is there support emerging for this idea? We see that the current measures have had a, an anemic impact on the economy. Uh, is there any for, is growing support for this new approach? Well, Martin Wolf, a very famous columnist from Financial Times, and other eminent economists have spoken about it before. And I have to tell you even that in the past it has been done already. For example, it's a very bad example, but the German and Japanese uh, wartime production was very much financed in a similar way. And Japan continued this policy after the Second World War to, to industrialize the country. However, this has, has been forgotten somehow in collective memory. And I think now that a new financial crisis is emerging, Je um, Bo Deutsche Bank is in trouble, as you heard, and um, now, like whenever uh, Miss Merkel, the German Chancellor, um, said that she fully trusts somebody, a minister, that minister had to step back. Now Wolfgang Schäuble said he fully trusts Deutsche Bank, so I think we will see another financial crisis soon. And then the ECB basically runs out of firepower because the economy is in very, very bad shape. People say Germany is an economic miracle, but we had a growth rate of 0.8% on average since the crisis. This was labeled once a lost decade in Japan. So I think we are in a deep, deep mess. And when, when, when we really face the risk of the euro, for example, breaking up in the next years, which I think it will if we continue this kind of policies, then I think uh, even central bankers might really consider these kind of options.